What is up, rockers? Today in this video, we're going to talk about a Manitor. We're super excited to have her in our arsenal. We're officially going to get her um, in the Mightiest Governor. I'm going to get 20 Manitor sculptures, and we're going to max her out. She is going to be an amazing pair for our Artemisia. I am super stoked, super excited, energized in here, and we are in 1412. If you guys have not considered migrating here in 1412, you haven't joined the Discord, there's going to be a link in the description. Join the 1412 migration as for an application because we're creating the best kingdom here. We're trying to make it as an amazing and have a wonderful gaming experience for every single one of you guys. So make sure you join us in here. So it's really going to be fun. Join Discord. If you are new on our channel consider subscribing and turn that notification on we do live stream make sure your notifications on and stop by when we do live stream i know some of you guys watch us in here who has never shown into our live stream yet you're missing a lot of fun in there smash that like if you enjoy this content So today we got a Manitor and how will this pair up with Artemisia? One of the key things in here is the silence, but we're going to talk about a Manitor skill by skill and then we're going to talk about how the synergy of a Manitor with Artemisia will be. A Manitor with a huge damage in here, 1300, and also for the next three seconds, this commander can deal 20% increased damage, which is huge. This is damage, right, over all of their passive skill archer attack bonus of 40 percent that's huge archer deal damage against the infantry five percent the infantry gangs they're gonna get wrecked by the archer gang now the sad part about this is that we do take five percent more damage from the cavalry gang archers gain 10 percent increased defense and their attack have a two percent chance of dispelling all ongoing enhancement on to the target when this commander is serving as a garrison commander so this is what makes her amazing in the garrison this is a very specific skill now that is a 10 percent chance at the max level 10 percent trigger chance wow increase 20 percent defense bonus at the max level that is really great anything that buffs your attack will be dispelled so based on my understanding in here xiang yu has a passive buff in here that increases cavalry attack bonus. So something similar to that sense, in my opinion. Now here's a kicker in here. Upon taking skill damage, deals direct damage towards to the enemy. So one time I talked about this, it's like, oh, Attila and Takeda can definitely counter this, right? Because Attila and Takeda is not going to do, uh, because Attila and Takeda is not going to do any skill damage, right? So if Attila and Takeda does not, skill, does not do a skill damage, then you cannot really activate this skill. Mm, you see what I'm saying in here? Now, Troop also has a 50% chance to deal another round of damage, plus 20% chance for third round. Huge, right? Damage dealt to each target is reduced by 15% to each additional target. Okay, so here's the thing, guys. We know Attila and Takeda does not do skill damage, but hey, what if, what if you pair it up with the best girl in here, or the best archer girl so far, that we currently have that I haven't maxed out yet, which I'm going to max out again. What if we do it with Artemisia? Artemisia has a skill damage that will hit herself. As you can see in here, a damage of 300 damage factor deals damage to troops led by this commander. So then, a reactive skill of Artemisia will trigger this upon taking skill damage. Deals direct damage to the damage factor of 400 up to three enemies. So imagine that Artemisia and this girl, the pair is absolutely amazing. And then another thing that we want to talk about is let's say you are getting rallied by a Pakal, which technically you shouldn't, but I know a lot of people are using rally Pakal or maybe a Xiang Yu, William or whatever it is. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that whenever there's an active, active skill damage again towards to this Amanitor, that's double proc. 
That's double proc. That's double taking skill damage. One from Artemisia and one from the Rallier. That is absolutely insane. So just think about that because that's a huge factor to think about when you're trying to get the Emanitor. So I suggest that you guys should get this lady. She is deadly in the garrison. Wow, I can't wait to have her in my garrison. Now, finally, I will have a solid, solid two Archer Commanders. And I know you guys will say you have YSG, but we know YSG is a little bit of a paper when it comes to the garrison. But I'm excited to have a Manator here. So another thing in here, the expertise skill. Troops led by this commander are immune to silence. Isn't that amazing? This commander can never be silenced. It's a passive skill, so it's throughout the battle. Active skill reduces the target's rage by 100 rage per second for 2 seconds, so that's 200 rage. This skill can trigger at most every 10 seconds. Okay, so it's a little bit long, but it's fine. Alright? Active skill can trigger that. So, if you're using her as a support, you can go for that tree that will have re the rejuvenate tree, basically. Now, here's the thing. Troops led by this commander are immune to silence. Oh... Very juicy, very juicy. So when you go into Artemisia, while this commander's rage reaches 80%, there's a 50% chance to silence. Now, it's not going to work. Artemisia will never be silenced. So you're going to continuously hit with this Battle of Salamis. Now, here's the thing. I just talked about the synergy in here earlier about this. So with Artemisia never being silenced, so when she takes that freaking damage... She's going to cast this. Woohoo! Isn't that amazing? So that kind of makes it a little bit worth it with Artemisia's self damage in here. All right? That makes it a little bit worth it now because then you're hitting your enemy even more. And what's great about this is that there is also another factor in here. All right? At the same time, grants her troop 25% increased skill, skill damage for 5 seconds. Now, here's the thing. This is a passive skill. And here to say, at the same time, it's not a condition that she needs to be silenced. So, it will work. I've also verified this with the devs. I know the wording can be confusing. It seems like, oh, she needs to be silenced before this works but it's not so she's going to be able to increase the damage in here so i've also verified with the with the wording of damage i verified it with the customer support that it is going to be all types of damage so just with that being said this will include normal attack skill and as well as counter attack so that's huge because now we are going to hit them harder with the skill without being procced 1800 damage factor oh la la that is juicy licious mamma mia and then another hit here with this 1300 damage factor plus the more we cast that the more we can hit here as well this is a huge huge caster guys this is a huge caster um this the casting for these two ladies in here is just this amazing casting ladies in here guys Ooh. I'm excited to see. I'm excited. But really, man, this is going to be a huge, huge skill engine. They really need... I think the, the, the thing in here is that having that, you need to have a, a rally leader that is going to be really, really huge in absorbing the, the skill damage in here. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait to see and test it because I feel like this is going to be legit. Now, here's the thing. You can definitely do an Amanitor primary commander um then you can do the rejuvenate so you can cast more and the puddle cakes also said that you know having a horn will be nice and about five to six turn cast imagine that with artemisia self-infliction and then you can cast this so much more often Ooh, damage bonus 20 percent huge 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 benefit here guys i don't know who's getting a manator because she is definitely amazing i'm gonna get her are you gonna get her well if you're not you gotta watch our content instead. That being said, guys, I'm very excited to have a Manator here with us. And just in a few days, we're gonna summon her and we're gonna max her out with Artemisia. We might be back in business in here. The Archer Gang back in business when it comes to defending structures, just like when Artemisia came out and that Gilgamesh as well. Gilgamesh, which I already have summoned. If you haven't seen that video, we're gonna max Gilgamesh as well. 
is gonna be lit. Anyway, rockers, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys again next time.